Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real fishing and hunting situations involving wildlife. We do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. We're off to Ocean City to recognize some local lifesavers. We'll head to the Neck District in Dorchester County for a waterfowl hunt. Scorchy Taws takes us to Williamsburg to meet a man and his machines. And then we'll head back to Ocean City to get a preview of the 40th Annual Seaside Boat Show. Outdoors Del Marva is coming your way right now. Welcome to Outdoors Del Marva, the show dedicated to a commitment of conservation and to the community that makes Del Marva's outdoors such a hidden gem here in the Mid-Atlantic. My name is Jason Lee and I'm learning that there are two types of people in the world. Those who squat down when you yell duck and those who look up and say, where? This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here's Jason Lee. The saying goes, not all superheroes wear capes. And we found out just how true that is at the Roland E. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City. Welcome to the Ocean City Blood Drive. This is a tremendous uh, tradition here in Worcester County, Maryland. Uh, this is the 24th annual Ocean City Blood Drive. It traditionally draws six to 700 plus blood donors, and it's our biggest blood drive by far of the year, and it could have come at a better time. National Blood Donor Month is held every January, which is a very slow time typically for people to donate blood, so Ocean City is crucial in the operations for Blood Bank of the Marva every year. And it's one of those things where the Greater Ocean City Chamber of Commerce, the Town of Ocean City, the Mayor, uh, Rick Meehan, all the local residents, you'll see a lot of police officers and other municipal workers uh, just come together to donate blood over the course of three days. And it's just, it's just a wonderful tradition here in Ocean City, Maryland. I've been with the Blood Bank about four and a half years. This is my fourth one here at the Ocean City and so with me I'm in charge of volunteers and so we have lots of wonderful folks that are volunteering their time. Um, all, of course all of our blood donors are volunteers as well um, but we have volunteers of time that are helping serve um, here in the canteen so once somebody's given their blood we, of course we need to replenish their fluids and some food and so you get snacks and drinks and we have some wonderful volunteers that are serving donors as they have, watching them, making sure that they feel well. Um, we also have some volunteers that are greeting people and keeping them on track and directing them on where to go. We named this year's drive the Call to Arms. For one person to donate, they can save up to three lives. We need, on the Delmarva Peninsula, uh, roughly 65 to 75,000 units of blood a year based on the uh, need from the 19 local hospitals that we support on the, on the Delmarva Peninsula. The support we get for this drive is just amazing. Um, first and foremost from uh, the convention center here, uh, but also the town of Ocean City. Without them, th this drive could not happen because of the space, because of the municipal workers uh, coming in to donate, and just, just the support we get from the local media, Ocean City Chamber of Commerce, um, and local businesses. I mean, w w without, without their support, we could not uh, pull this off. It really doesn't take much to save a life. And in the case of donating blood, up to three. Make an appointment today at delmarvablood.org and earn your superhero badge. Still to come, we travel back to Scorchy's Corner to meet a man with a passion for antique gasoline engines. But up next, we head to Dorchester County for the fourth annual Shoot in the Neck Waterfowl Hunt. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru, we'll be right back. You're watching Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Del Marva. Last weekend, we went out to Dorchester County for an annual waterfowl hunt. And along with some ducks, we found a group of new friends in a great little Del Marva community. We decided to do this event to bring uh, younger people into the 
the, to the firehouse. Uh, we've got our normal ham and crab cake dinners, our auctions and stuff like that. But we wanted to get a younger group in and we thought, hey, this is a prime opportunity. We got plenty of land to do to hunt and uh, it's been a huge success so far and we're constantly growing each year with it. This is our fourth annual. Um, this is our biggest group so far. Uh, we made almost 50 people this year. Um, other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. We've got a lot more birds this year than we have in the last couple years, so it's it's been a little bit better, I think. Along with the registration fee, the fire company had silent auctions, raffles, and a 50-50 drawing. I asked Eddie about where the proceeds go. We haven't dedicated the money from this year's funds to anything specific in the firehouse. Um, our last year's funds went to our kitchen renovation to redo the kitchen. Um, we serve as a emergency shelter for the community, so we updated the kitchen. That way if we do have hurricane or any power outages, stuff like that, we can supply stuff for them here. It's not just locals who are here for the fun, food, and fellowship either. Yes, we are, we are seeing more um, out-of-town people here, um, people that don't know the neighborhood, um, and this kind of helps bring them, those people in that, you know, outside hunters, lets them get familiar with some of the resident hunters in the area. Eddie believes the keys to success for the future of the event lie in the phrase, steady as she goes. Like I said, we try to grow it a little bit each year. We don't want to get too big too fast. It creates problems and issues. So that's why we started small. Our very first year, I want to say we had, I think it was like 20 hunters, uh, real small. Our second year, COVID hit. <laughs> so we did we did the six foot space and we had like two people in the blind so we had another really small group our third year we bumped up to I think 40 and then of course this year we've almost 50 so that's our goal you know our goal ultimately is to get to about a hundred is our top because that's all we can handle at all but the annual hunt doesn't happen without a few special individuals yeah I mean like say all the guides most of the guides that we have down here all live in the area um, a lot of them were raised in the area and they've really helped out to, to step this up and make it profitable for our fire department. Today we had nine guides um, and every blind was full with the nine guides so it worked out great. I asked Eddie what his favorite part is of being in such a remote section of Delmarva. I just liked it. I'm not in the city. <laughs> I'm outside the city. Uh, I've got waterfowl and deer all around us down here, um, prime opportunities to hunt, um, quiet community, no drama. <laughs> For those wanting more information on upcoming events like the annual auction, the August poker run, or to stay up to date for next year's hunt, Eddie said to check out the Facebook page. Neck District Volunteer Fire Department. We've got a couple other events we're still working on, hashing details out, and we're always looking for help. Um, reach out to us on there, and Brian or myself see it, and we'll get back to them. But the most important thing Eddie wanted me to know was how vital events like shooting the neck is to everyone on Delmarva. People aren't getting involved like they used to, and truth be told, it's not just the fire department that suffers, it's everyone else suffers too. If you don't have the volunteer fire departments, your house catches on fire, no one's coming to it, and no one wants to see that. So just get out and help. That's the only thing I can say. When asked for a final thought as we put a wrap on the fourth annual shoot in the neck, Eddie summed it up pretty well. It was a good day. Get outdoors, Delmarva! Anytime you can support your local volunteer fire company is a worthy reason to get outdoors. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru, returns right after this. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Shorts Marine. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. We're gassing up the time machine and turning back the clock as we remember Scorchy Taws. Honoring the life and legacy of Scorchy Taws. Thanks to Shorts Marine in Long Neck, Delaware. Shorts Marine. Everything but the water. At Williamsburg, you'll find Gene Hayes, gas engine artisan. Now, before we get you plying all over the colonial capital of Williamsburg, Virginia, looking for old Gene, we better tell you we're talking about Williamsburg, Maryland. 
across Rhodes Village just a mite north of Harlock. It is here where Gene Hayes builds miniature gasoline engines and rebuilds antiquated real ones. Just have it. I make the gear, I make the piston, flywheels and everything and put them together and try to get them run. Try to get them try to run? Try to get them run. Did he always run? Well, sometimes a little, little bit of problem, but I usually get them run, though. Gene Hayes has been a machinist for over a half century. I've kind of slacked off a little now. Why is that? Well, getting old and, uh, and getting contrived. And surprised us when he said, no, he is not one of a dying breed. And that's quite a few people like I am. Keep looking. Of course, you go around these shows, that's when you can see them all. Gene Hayes is built, as he puts it, 16 or 17 miniatures, and they all purr like contented kittens. And has a collection of immaculately restored pre-electricity old timers in perfect running condition that did everything from shelling corn to cutting wood, plus a mystery machine. This is an auto. 1877 it was built. What was it built for? Gene doesn't know. Gene Hayes still gets lit up quickly when he finds out an old gasoline engine is available. Have you ever gone to pick up one and you look at it and you say, oh my God, that one will never run? No, because I think I can make it run. <laughs> to put it mildly, no greater love as a man for antique gasoline engines than Gene Hayes. Back in that day, they were king. They were the king. That's right. Of course, you told us, wandering our dull marvelous land for WBOC News. Remembering Scorchy Taws is presented by Shorts Marine, online at shortsmarine.com. Did you know that along with saving up to three lives with your blood donation, you're also improving your own health? Donating blood has been linked to lowering blood pressure and reducing your risk for a heart attack. And did you know that your body burns around 500 calories just to replace the blood you just donated? Now you do. Did You Know is sponsored by North Bay Marina. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And sponsored by Shorts Marine. Everything but the water. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. The 40th annual Seaside Boat Show is returning to the Roland E. Powell Convention Center in Ocean City next month, and we thought that we'd get a preview of what we can expect. We've been here 40 years, and we started 40 years ago when Don Hastings, one of our club members, who was also uh, assistant superintendent of schools, and a member of our club, obviously, decided that we would try and see how that worked. And here at the convention center in Ocean City, the old lower area, we had the boat show that year, and we had uh, several thousand people attend, and we actually made a few dollars. So we just kept trying. And now we're at 40, and uh, we, we now make more money, and we get 15,000 people to come in, and it's absolutely been wonderful because we're providing everybody with the opportunity to see the latest uh, boats. 35 years, uh, North Bay Marina up in um, Delaware has provided a pontoon boat with motor as the door prize at the boat show. Uh, as you enter and you buy your ticket, at the bottom is a spot to fill in your name and address and phone number and you throw that into a, uh, a barrel at the back at the, the um, room behind the food service on the first uh, floor of the convention center and then on Sunday at four o'clock we're going to reach in that barrel and pull out a name and somebody will win a pontoon boat with motor as a door prize. The boat show will be February 17th to the 19th. We will open at 10 o'clock all three days. Friday and Saturday we will close at 6 
and on Sunday we will close at four to then have the boat uh, drawing to see who won the pontoon boat. The Optimus Club in Ocean City, Berlin is the largest club in the state of Maryland. We raise money for all kinds of kids programs. Uh, our motto is helping the kids and we have um, scholarship programs. Uh, we've given over 2.5 million dollars in scholarships to kids from Stephen Decatur, Pocomoke, or Snow Hill. We're, we're very happy with the scholarship program and if you come to the show you have the opportunity to buy a chance on the second floor right off the escalator. We'll be selling chances, $20 a chance or 10 chances for $100. 50-50 of the pro, uh, proceeds will be donated back to folks and the balance will go to help it fund our scholarships and uh, we're very happy with, uh, with that. People love to come and see all that stuff and it only costs $10 for adults and a buck for kids. Everybody that lives on Delmarva lives within 75 miles of either the Atlantic Ocean or the Chesapeake Bay and they can want anything from a pontoon boat for parties um, or they may want a, a, a 25 foot small craft to get into the bay and then make a few runs out in the ocean or they may actually want something bigger and that will also be available and if you already have something and you need new electronics or you need uh, new canvas work or whatever somebody will be here that can provide that. We'll be catching up with Shorts Marine and North Bay Marina in the coming weeks because they will be at the boat show, so be on the lookout for that. After the break, we'll wrap up the show with your latest photos and give you some information about the Outdoors Delmarva Expo coming in April. Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru, will be back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru higher standards. Welcome back to Outdoors Delmarva. It's time to flip through the photo album and take a look at your latest pictures thanks to our friends at North Bay Marina. John Credo sent in this picture he snapped of a pileated woodpecker at Trap Pond State Park. Rowan Baker poses with this great looking buck he harvested with a crossbow while his sister Savannah wasn't about to be left out as she got her very first deer. Nice job, you two. Ten-year-old Hunter Rodriguez is living up to his name as he adds to the family freezer with his very first deer. Fourteen-year-old Savannah Weber of Cambridge always enjoys a day in the duck blind with her dad. Deal and Wyatt Corsi of Trap pose with their grandfather Johnny along with a couple of take-homes from opening day of goose season in Centerville. 11-year-old Wyatt Hopkins of Tyaskin brought home his first duck, a bufflehead drake. Here are a couple more great photos from Pat Allegro Smith. And Ken Fullerton sent in this amazing picture he took of Tuesday's Electron rocket launch from NASA's Wallops Island. Outdoors Delmarva viewer pictures are sponsored by North Bay Marina. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Keep sending in those photos by emailing outdoors at WBOC.com. Remember that you can follow and like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you'd like to see previously aired segments and full episodes, make sure you check us out on YouTube. Put it on your calendar, April 22nd. That's the Outdoors Delmarva Expo happening in Harrington at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. If your business specializes in anything outdoors, we would like to see you there. So if you would like to be a part of it, make sure you send us an email and we'll get you all the information. Until we see each other next week, I hope to see you outdoors, Delmarva. You've been watching Outdoors Delmarva, which is presented by Gateway Subaru, higher standards, and sponsored by Shorts Marine, everything but the water.